Hi, my name is Julianne de Leeuwen from the Honors Program Team of the Rotterdam University of Applied Science. In this video, I will tell you all about the portfolio, what needs to be in it, what needs to be done. When compiling your portfolio, please make sure to use the following two documents, the Handbook Final Assessment Honors and the Final Assessment Honors Portfolio. They can both be found on Hint. The format gives you guidance when creating your portfolio. It helps you to provide the data that assessors need to get an indication on your development. And it will also clarify how you see yourself as a starting excellent professional. So what needs to be included? Start off with your personal details, then add the evaluation and professional positioning and make sure to use the format for the latter two because it will clearly explain what needs to be done. Then per competence, add the following. Start off with the feedback from a fellow student, from a teacher, and from someone outside Rotterdam University of Applied Science. For example, somebody who's seen you work in an internship. Then, at a maximum of two professional critical situations using the STAR model. Also, add a self-evaluation in which you describe what behavior regarding that specific competence you showed. And add evidence for that relevant competence and briefly describe why you used exactly that evidence. After all your competences are finished, also add an up to date list of marks from OSIRIS. Let me elaborate a little bit more on the feedback. You include the feedback per competence and you ask three persons to give their feedback a fellow student, a teacher, and someone outside the Rotterdam University of Applied Science. Mind you, for every competence, you ask the same three people for feedback. Furthermore, it is useful when you request feedback to ensure that these people are acquainted with the entire competency profile. After the feedback, you work out a maximum of two professionally critical situations per competence according to the STAR model. The picture shows you how you can do this. As mentioned before, after that, you assess yourself on the competence and describe what behavior you displayed for this competence. Also add evidence and explain in a few sentences why you are using specifically this evidence here. Are you all finished? Great. Then have your portfolio screened by your supervisor. Your supervisor will not judge the quality, but will just check whether everything that should be in it is actually there. Last but not least, I wrote down some good practices. To start off with, use the format. It's really helpful. Then, start in time with compiling your portfolio and also with asking for feedback. People will probably need some time to think about it. Then, make sure to make an appointment beforehand with your supervisor to screen your portfolio so they know it's coming. And last but not least, please note that the date for handing in your portfolio is 10 working days before your final assessment. If you have any questions left regarding the portfolio, please don't hesitate and just send us a mail, hpteam.hr.nl. Also make sure to check out our other instructional videos. Good luck with assembling everything and I hope to see you soon at the final assessment honors.